I rented a co-working desk. <laughs> I rented a co-working desk and I'm gonna explain to you why I did that, how much it's costing me and what my plans are. I truly do not understand how some of these other van life vloggers get so much work done from their vehicle. Maybe it's because I don't have the same power setup that they do or what, but uh, I find it a challenge to get videos done. It could also be because I put more time into editing my videos than a lot of other people. Uh, but then again, some people post some very uh, edited videos and get a lot of videos up every week. I just don't understand how they're doing it. Maybe my fibromyalgia plays a role in that as well. Basically, I found myself sitting at Tim Hortons a lot just to be able to have access to electricity uh, enough so that I can get videos done and whatever else I had to do. And it's it started to really bother me <laughs> sitting there all the time partly because it meant that I was spending more money on food and partly because the only thing to eat at restaurants like this are high carb foods and it was starting to give me health problems. I think that played a big, big role. Then there was also the constant noise from people talking all around me. It made it really hard to focus on what I was doing. I remember a month ago or so it was I was very focused and I was able to get a lot of work done. I at that point was going to I was frequenting a McDonald's and I was able to get a lot done. Um, and then after I sold the sprinter and all this stuff happened, then I ended up in a different location and I was going to, uh, like I said, at Tim Hortons on a regular basis. And I, if, maybe it was the atmosphere was different, but I was constantly distracted and having a really tough time. Then I was inspired to look for a co-working space and I realized that there was a couple of places where I could rent a hot desk, meaning a desk that is available to me. Whenever I go in, I'll just take whatever desk is there that nobody else is using. I realized that there was a couple of places where I could rent a hot desk and it, the price of it, the cost for the month, was going to be about the same amount as it was gonna, costing me already to be at the Tim Hortons or wherever I was because being a regular patron, being in an establishment all the time means you have to purchase their goods. So buying $2 coffees or $3 coffees, um, buying their food while I was there, it got pretty expensive and so that money could have gone into renting a hot desk. So when I did the math, it worked out relatively evenly. So having access to a desk like this means that I have 24 seven access to electricity, uh, to good Wi-Fi, to free coffee here, to a bathroom 24 seven. And they even have a fridge that I can use so I can make healthier food choices because I can buy uh, healthy foods that are perishable and put them in the fridge. So the cost worked out to be about the same as it would have cost me going to a Tim Hortons or something like that every single day. And with this, I have access to the washroom 24 hours a day and I have a quiet space oftentimes to be doing my work and it's better for my health. I'm obviously still sleeping in the van and living in the van and the cats are in the van. So this brings me to what are my plans from this point on? Am I going to keep renting this place, you know, from here on? Because 
you know, in a month from now, it's not like I'm gonna just suddenly stop making videos, right? <sighs> this is a question I've been asking myself. Where do we go from here? So what are my plans? Am I going to stay in this place next month? No. Why? Because I'm trying to learn to really listen to my guidance. I made the mistake way too many times over the past year, actually longer than the past year, where I let myself get stuck somewhere for way too long because I start thinking about um, the logical way to do things or, you know, the long-term goals, plans or whatever, and, and just doing things in a certain order. And it has, it's like a, a fear-based mind state because a lot of the time when I try to get to my goals, I try to think of it logically like one step and then the next step and the next step. But if I haven't already achieved the goal, then I don't actually know how to get there. I'm just guessing, basically. I'm coming up with a hypothesis. I'm just learning. I'm like looking at what other people have done. I'm doing research or whatever. And then trying to figure out what the next most logical step would be to get to my goal but I don't actually know. And I've recognized that one of the things that keeps me stuck is my, my belief that I am stuck. Um, so if I get myself into a situation where I feel stuck, I'll keep reminding myself of how stuck I am, which just makes me more stuck. And the other thing is that I focus too much on, on my logical plan that I came up with that I don't actually know is the best way to get me there instead of allowing the path to present itself to me. And in times that I actually do pay attention to like my higher guidance meaning and follow my guidance, follow the signs or my gut or whatever you want to call it, I, I tend to get where I need to be a lot faster and a lot easier. I'll give you an example. Last night, I had it in my head that because it was going to be a sunny day that I was going to drive up to Squamish finally and film a video, even though... I didn't really, I wasn't really inspired to do that, but logically I decided that that was the right thing to do for the day. I ended up, I had a short list of things that I wanted to accomplish tomorrow before going to Squamish, doing my laundry, just little chores that I needed to do or that I really wanted to do before going up to Squamish. Yes, I know Squamish has laundromats there, but because I, I had... I was going to take the whole day to film and do whatever that I knew that I wasn't going to have the time to do laundry. Trust me, I had a, I had a reason. What ended up happening was I ended up driving around in circles, <laughs> trying to decide which laundromat to go to because everything was out of my routine and I couldn't seem to find a laundromat that had parking convenient parking and would take my card and because I didn't feel like going to get cash out and so I just kept looking for different laundromats and I got really frustrated and annoyed I was in a bad mood and the day was just going by and I wasn't accomplishing anything at some point in the evening when I recognized I wasn't getting anything done I just gave up I said I don't think I'm going to Squamish I give up um this day was a loss and so be it. And within the next 20 minutes, I recognized that I was parked in the perfect spot to do all of my chores over the next two hours. 
So everything that I needed seemed to be right beside each other and I got everything done really fast. I just decided that I wasn't going to squamish. I wasn't going to do the logical thing and I was going to do the thing that felt right to me, which was to go back to the office. So that's kind of how I'm trying to approach things now, to go more with the flow because it seems to work better. And so the flow told me that it was a good idea to get this office. I felt really, really good about it. But then as soon as I started working here, I recognized the signs that normally happen when my soul or whatever is telling me it's time to move on. Meaning I was being warned not to book it for another month. I was being told to move on and not get myself stuck in one place, to not get too comfortable and choose to stay in one area instead of growing in the direction that I'm trying to grow. So I'm not totally sure what's going to happen at the end of the month. I just, I'm pretty dang sure that I'm not going to be staying here. I know that I'm finally able to batch a bunch of videos, so I'm getting a lot done and I re-examined the direction that I want to take this channel in in general. So I'm coming up with a plan that just feels better for me now. Everything I've done with the channel so far felt really good to me. It felt right. Until lately when I started to feel like something needed to change. So I've been doing a lot of thinking about that. What is it that needs to change and how I was going to do that. And that's what I'm in the process of restructuring.